Let us pray. Holy God, we come before your throne and admit that most of the time we are too busy singing, praying, and feeling good and feeling bad and feeling so so to stop and listen for your tiny little whispers. In your word, you paint for us a picture of full and abundant life. Life that can only be had by drinking your living water, knowing you not as a title, but intimately a mystery. We pray that our lives should be planted near you, that we would send our roots and deep into your word and your life, that we would draw nourishment from you, and that with the life you give, we would be in turn provide shelter and comfort and blessing to whoever comes under our branches. We pray that we would not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor abide in the house of the scornful, but that our delight would be in you, in your truth, in your grace, in your presence, through this place. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And we say all together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Bible reading is from two books. One from Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. And second book is Psalm chapter 25, verse 4 to 5. I know, Lord, that our lives are not our own, that we are not able to direct our path. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. On 28th in April, year 2013, in North, no, no, East North Sunderland, there was a, a what is the marathon competition? There was a, over 5,000 competitions. Now, they run and run each other a long way. And there was a few groups. And one of the group, the leading group, was ahead of others. And suddenly, one man within that leading group, his name is Mark Hood. He ran ahead of all other leading groups far, far away. And then there was a big gap. At the end, Mark Hood cut the final, what would you call the final line? And got the, uh, the prize, the winner. Now, the trouble is, 
There was a second, what you call a run-up? Yeah, run-up and third and fourth. And everybody arrived the final line and got through. The thing was, far from only one, the winner, the run-up, third, fourth, and the rest of 5,000 was disqualified. How? What happened? Well, the thing was, the winner run ahead of everybody, and second, the run-up, there was a big gap, and somehow, the second runner-up lost his way. And then he got wrong way. And suddenly, third follow him, fourth follow him, fifth follow him, rest of 5,000 followed him. Even though they all arrived the final line, they all disqualified. Why? Because they cut a shortcut and that wrong way. So it is quite important the leader to follow someone, to listen to someone and take their advice is very, very important, isn't it? If we follow someone, who knows? All is going to be in vain, isn't it? You have lived your life, Christian life, from your birth, and you work hard, and then you offered your time, your life, and then, you know, tens and, and hundreds of thousands of money to the church or to somebody or, you know, donation and all kind of thing. And suddenly at the end of your life, it might go in vain. So to follow someone, listen to someone saying, theory, whatever. Well, at the end of the day, the fact is your decision. Isn't it? Should I follow him? Or should I follow the other one? Which way? Nowadays I'm so upset and angry of something happened in this world because of the COVID-19. Well, we got all masks on. But have we seen Yesterday and today, some, some uh, 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 houses behind their houses and gathered hundred people got that, you know, a personal party, private party. Have you seen that on uh, BBC? No? There was a, a, what is a, a drone or some helicopter. They recorded all without masks. They, you know, come together and then dancing and drinking and all kinds of things. Do you know the uh, singer Madonna? Have you seen that uh, 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 you know, uh, video clips? She is 62 years old. Her boyfriend is 35 years younger than her. So 25 or 26 or something like that. She had her birthday party. Well, nothing wrong with that. But she invited the people inside and outside with a mask and then having party together have you seen that uh, one of do you know the tiktok tiktok well if you have got grandchildren they all have that uh, app 15 seconds they can unload or something like that kind of things and a finger dancing all kind of thing and then it's very famous and one of the famous TikTok star. He opened party in his house. Hundreds of them inside, indoor, with a mask. They had drinking and party and dancing and all kinds of things.
as you had in America. Hundred people with the shotguns. I'm a free man. I refuse no mask. In Brazil, even president said masks are no use. You know, it's useless. Well, he got COVID-19. His wife also. In Japan also. In China also. Huge swimming pool. There is a music festival. With all together, no mask, get together. Dancing, singing, all. Even one of the best plays, almost pure, you know, or unclear out of COVID-19, the Koya is now, from last Saturday. It is at a second spike. Do you know why? Because one of Korean minister. Everywhere. Still a lot of music festival, indoors and outdoors. Even yesterday there was a 3,000 got together in Bristol. Have you heard that? Yeah, young generation, they got together. 3,000 and music festival. Personal and private party. Have we heard that in transportation is mandatory, as a duty. We have to wear the mask, but someone refused. Probably you saw that uh, from you know BBC on beach. How many people got together without mask? You know, uh, you know all kinds of things eating together in a pub, in a park. What they are saying is, it's just cold, similar. Within in, in a, in a cold, the, the people, the death rate is much higher than COVID-19. Why? It's it just cold. And then there is very little chance to catch. But the thing is, on the other hand, what is the singer Sharon Stone? Her, you know, saying is her grandma died COVID nineteen, her godmother died COVID nineteen, her own sister got that sister and what is the uh, uh, no 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 uh, brother in law got the COVID nineteen and suffering. The thing is, we cannot touch, we cannot smell. It's not tangible. It's not feelable. We don't feel. And we don't know who got that. And then say a lot of people, what you call that after effect? The coronavirus, even though they, they got cured by some one man for six months still. He can't speak properly. Even he can't cook you know, for you know, himself. So he moved into his parents' house, living together. Lost his voice. Still got pain, fatigue. What you call a brain fog. And there are all kinds of you know, side effects and also after effects. Even in America, there was a big party. The name is Corona Party. Have you heard that? Corona Party. They received the tickets. Everybody. Yeah? And then there was one prize. That is, whoever gets coronavirus first, that person gets that prize. Among that, you know, the entertainers and all the participants, they put one person who got that coronavirus, put it in that party. And they had a party, dancing and singing and all kind of thing. Can you believe? 
one young man. He had an interview before he died among that party and said, I am sorry. I didn't know. Long, long time ago, when my wife Sarah used to drive, one day she was guiding in you know, four or five other Korean ministers' cars. She was in front and driving somewhere and then you know, guiding all other cars. When she got into the big roundabout, Suddenly, she lost her way. She didn't know where to exit. So, what she did was, she went round, <laughs> round. Now, can you imagine what happens around that roundabout? Not only her, but following four or five cars around, following her, round, round, and suddenly, Four, five lanes, all dead cars stop and they don't know what is going on. Do you know what I mean? If someone got in, stuck, a wrong way to guide our ways, new ways, what are you going to do? That's why in the Bible today, our life is not ours. Do you think so? But nowadays, the young generation and a lot of people say, wow, it's mine, isn't it? My life's mine. I'm going to do whatever I like, whatever it takes. A girl is freedom, liberty. Mind your own business. I'm going to do it on my own. That is what they say. But Bible, the God says, our lives are not ours. And Psalmist say, show me your way. And guide your path. Because we don't know where to go. Teach me. But in the world, there are a lot of people who say, I am right. Follow me. Follow me. What I'm saying is right. What I think is right. What my theory is right. Never wrong. And quite often, the funny thing is when someone say, follow me. And a lot of followers are there. Like me. There is none. <laughs> I'm in here. Saying not what I think. Say what my saying is right. And saying follow me. No. Reflection is not the time or not the time to say what I think. What I'm saying is no. That is wrong. What I'm saying is I am one of yours. Exactly the same in yours. I'm also followers. And they want. That is why. That is the way we should. We must follow. That's why Jesus said, I am the way. The light. And the truth. And a whole world there is none. But Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And he said, I am the good shepherd. Even Jesus said, follow me. Follow me. And in here today, God says, your life is not yours. We are not able to direct our path. Celebrity, doctors, professors, 
philosophers, the famous, anyone, anyone doesn't know any direction. Quite often people say, I am right. So be careful when you hear sweet sounds, sweet voice, and sweet theory. That's why the Bible says, give us discernment. We have got brain. We are not animal like just follow. Follow those who gave us food. No. We have got brain. God gave us discernment. What is right and what is wrong? So never ever listen to someone who say follow me. Someone who say it is right. No. Only way we must follow is the way Jesus Christ. So quite often, well, even though I'm a minister, I don't know every single bit. Quite often, I can't draw a whole picture. Even the Bible, you know, doesn't give us a whole picture. If I don't know, and then if the Bible is not clear, then I can't follow what others saying, what their theories are. But question to God, it is right. It is right. What are you going to say in us? And study and read the Bible and find answer from from the Bible. It's not someone saying. It's not someone's theory. If they follow, and if you follow any sweet sound and theory, you might get in trouble. In the Bible, it is said, I know, Lord, that our lives, not ours, that we are not able to direct our path. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. Let us pray. Lord, we give thanks. Because we are not walk through the wide gate, but narrow gate. And we are just following you, not the person, not the ministers, or not any others, but you, our Savior, Jesus Christ. But Lord, quite often, we don't know. And we don't understand. But Lord, we believe you are going to give us discernment to follow you in a right way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. For myself, well, I'm still good. I'm still good, but I'm still young. Same as any other young generation who wants to go out and playing and dancing and games and holidays. You've seen that a lot of holiday makers are trying to coming back from, you know, Spain or recently, what is that, uh, 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 France and all that. Okay? I'd love to go out, but rather not. And that is also, you know, uh, it, it, it's stressful. Just staying at home and not much things doing. But on the other hand, I have to keep on every Sunday. So during the Sunday, well, the minister's jobs are not like repeating what 
I've learned and then used to that kind of things, unlike any other jobs. But ministers are creative jobs. I have to create every Sunday new sermons and reflections. Someone said, over three, uh, three years old sermon, you know, now we can use, reuse again. The funny thing is, sometimes people doesn't remember even last Sunday what I said, but sometimes people, even five years old, what I said, remember exactly, oh, James, you did it five years ago. So that that's a, well, <laughs> As soon as I finish this sermon back home, and then you know, have dinner, and then straight away in my mind, what I'm gonna do next sermon. <laughs> that is my job all day. And here, while even while I'm away for holiday, sit in you know, it's in here that kind of things. So. But apart from that, keeping well, Sarah is still doing quite well. Still not 100%, especially morning, the, the guest comes to her every morning. And then I say to her, hey, get rid of him. But she says she can't. It's, uh, it, it, you know, just coming in and then stay two or three hours and then go away. And then afternoon, she feels better or something like that. But rather than that, that's all okay. So let us pray. Loving God, you are our creator and sustainer. When you open your hand, you satisfy the hunger and thirst of every living thing. And so we look to you whenever we are in need, trusting in your love and your abundant goodness. As you once fed the hungry crowds, with five loaves and two fish. We ask that you'd again fill those who are empty this day. Pour out your spirit on all who hunger and thirst. We pray for those who are physically hungry, whose stomachs are empty. We think especially of the people in Somalia, Eastern Africa, in refuge camp, in flooded area, who are facing critical food shortages. We pray for those who are empty emotionally, who are lonely and long for companionship and love, who are caught in the grip of depression or overwhelmed with grief. We pray for those who are spiritually empty, who are troubled but don't know where to turn, who long for purpose and meaning but don't know where to look. <coughs> we pray for those who need your healing power, who need strength, recovery and cure. Especially we pray for Doggy and Carth, Palm and Ray, Mark and Lucy, Matthew and Mary, Gordon and Anne, Brenda, Anita, Vera, Joan and Jim, June, Barbara, Son and Mike, Karen, Patrick, Tricia and Sons, Wynn, Diane and Ken, Robert, Betty, and for all those known to us who are in special need of our prayers. God, we pray you for your abundant gift in our lives. Pour out your sp spirit on us as well. Fill us with your compassion and love so that we would willingly share some of our abundancy with those who have need. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As you go from here into this week ahead, with whatever joys and challenges it holds, 
Do not be discouraged or disheartened. But remember who is our hope and who is the person we need to follow. And may the peace of God, the blessing of Jesus Christ, and the presence of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen.